Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Learn at Cloud Analytics. So as continuation to our GitLab series, in this video, we will be talking about how do we fork a project and why do we uh, do this forking and uh, how do we create a new group and how can we merge the request. Okay, so without any delay, let's get into the demo. So before we get into the demo, let's first understand the basic terminologies of uh, fork, merge, and uh, namespace, and then we will get into the live session. So fork is nothing but it is a copy of a project. So when we do a project, like um, uh, so forking a project or a repository would allow us to make changes without affecting the original project. So that is the main purpose of creating a fork within your respective project. Okay, and these are the some process like how you can create the forking. So without any hesitation, we will get, get back to our raw demo. <coughs> so I am going to my GitLab account. So I've already logged into my GitLab account. So in the prior video, I have demonstrated on how do we sign up to a GitLab account and how can we create a project within, uh, within GitLab. So I'm just using that existing uh, project that I've created earlier. And within my first project that I've created, I would now try to fork this project. So like I said, forking is nothing but creating a copy of your project. So now I will just select this fork. And when I hit on this fork, I see a couple of options being listed on this page, which is the first one is select a namespace. Okay, so uh, by default, you might not have an existing namespace because that is um, because it's your new project, right? So probably you might not have a valid namespace. In that scenario, it is uh, recommended that you create your own uh, group and then you come back to this page to fork the project. So now first, let's understand what is a namespace. So in GitLab, a namespace organizes related projects together. And this has two types of namespaces, namely a personal namespace, which is based on your uh, username and projects under a personal namespace must be configured one at a time. Okay. The second type of namespace is a group or a subgroup namespace. And in these namespaces, you can manage multiple projects at once. So this is mainly used for your collaboration purpose within your projects. And therefore, I've said that if you do not have an existing namespace, we will have to go back to create a new group and then we'll come back to fork the project. Okay. So assuming that I do not have an existing namespace, I will go back to my uh, menu and I'll select this groups. And within this groups option, I would select this your groups. And now, I would create a new group from this particular option. So when I hit on this new group, I would be allowed to create the group as I wish. So I can give a specific name to my group name. Uh, maybe I can say a demo group. And I leave the visibility level to private and the role to data analyst. So you can choose another role as you wish. But for the moment, I just keep it as is. And uh, who will be using this group? I'll just leave it to just me because I do not have any team uh, to whom I can grant this access to. So therefore I leave it for myself and it's the same. So I'll say, I'd like to learn the basics of Git and then I hit on create group. Okay, so now that the demo group has now been created, I will go back to my project and try to fork with that particular namespace. So I will hit on this fork that I have here next to my project name. So when I select this option fork, I would be allowed to select the namespace from the project URL. And I select this demo group. And if needed, you can provide a project description, which is optional, uh, but it would be helpful uh, uh, for your team or in later scenarios where you'd like to have an uh, overview about what this project is all about, right? So you can give some introduction about that project or a high level overview and the visibility level I'll keep it to private and then I'll hit on this fork project option. <coughs> so now once I click on that fork project, uh, it would it has already been forked and uh, I can see that uh, the project has been successfully forked. And now the next step that I would like to do is I would like to 
create a merge request within my project. Okay, so in order to create a uh, merge request, I would have to <coughs> select this option called merge request. But let's first understand uh, why do we create a merge. So when you create a new feature branch or change the files and push it to GitLab, you have the option to create a merge request, which is essentially a request to merge one branch into another. So what does a merge do? So uh, a merging would help us uh, developers uh, to create for uh, different uh, reasons like for testing or bug fixes or other reasons, right? So merging commits changes to another location. So <clears throat> to be more specific, merging takes the contents of a source branch and integrates them with a target branch. So that is what a merge request would do. OK, so let's try to merge this request. So I will hit on this merge. And when I hit on this merge, I have an option to create a new merge request. So I'll click on this new merge request. And as you see, it also gives you an information about what it is all about. So merge requests are a place to propose changes you have made to a project and discuss those changes with others. <coughs> OK, so now you can just hit on this new merge request and now you are uh, allowed to select the source branch and the target branch from this options so i would select the source branch as master and the target branch as master and then i'll hit on this compare branches and continue so since we haven't made any changes to uh, both the branches it would not show us anything but if you have done or probably your developer might have uh, made some changes to that existing one right you can review those changes and assign it to someone to review those changes like if you yourself is a developer who has made some changes to it right you can assign someone within your team to act as a reviewer so that you ensure that whatever that changes you have made are appropriate okay and you can also um, add some labels to make sure that this is relevant to this particular project and then you can uh, create the merge request okay so this is how you can create the merge request and assign some uh, reviewers in order to validate your merge request that you have created and uh, do the forking of your project as well so this is all about the uh, forking a project and how do we create a merge request within a project so I hope you understood this video and if you do like this video, please do not forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up to our video. Thank you.